Hello views, this is Mr. Roblox Indonesia. And welcome to another devlog video. It's been 4 years. Since Escape Velocity. Began to develop. From the early testing era. To the current in dev era. This game has evolved numerous times. And today, it transformed once again. From a multiplayer action slash parker game. Into a multiplayer action strategy game. Soon we are going to add the virtual economy. The building system. And. Of course. The class system. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin. The transition period. Today's transition period was not crazy. Honestly, it was just a one day development. Because of how tight the schedules are. But don't worry. I added new piece of content to the game. Even though it's quite simple, yet, exhausting piece of content. And the content is. An option menu. While following the tutorial, to make the GUI for the option menu, I got sidetracked to design the gear icon for the option menu. Which looked like a TF2 logo or something like a pirate. After laying out what the option menu will look like, I planned to add three options that the player will choose from. Changing the perspective between first person and third person. Muting the music. And finally stopping the player from playing the game. If they don't want to play. For the first one. Changing the perspective. I really thought it was going to be easy. But it took me 3 hours. Just to make it work. Like magic. While it kept breaking. I had a brilliant idea of how it was going to work. So. For the logic. It is something like this. When the button is pressed. It will turn a bool value into a false or true state. Then, if it is a false or true state, it will wait until the intermission ends. Then, after the intermission ends, it will change the player's perspective, and then it is going to reset during the intermission. After breaking that down, I began adventuring towards the module script realm. And the far lands of remote events that took almost 2 hours in there. And then, after some testing, it finally works. I started adding the function that allowed the player to change its perspective. That one job is finished, time to touch some grass. Viewers, it's time to move into the muting the music option. And for those old escape velocity players, the day has finally come. I will add the original soundtrack that I made in 2020 to the game. And for those who are new to the escape velocity development, for a preview, this was the original soundtrack. Alright, then, after uploading the soundtrack to Roblox, I began searching for how to fade out the music. But it turns out no one was making it. So, I decided to make it. But first, let's preview the logical system of how the script is going to work. First, when the players join the game, or when the round is over. The soundtrack will slowly rise, until it reaches the desired volume. Then, it will keep playing, until the intermission is over. When the intermission is over, it will slowly fade out until the volume reaches zero. With the logic written down, and the experience from the previous coding adventure, I began to make the local function for turning the volume up or down. At first, I was using the repeat until loop. 
but it caused a problem with the volume getting louder and louder. After searching for some hints for the solution. I changed it to a for loop. Much better. After tweaking the volume. We move on to the next problem. Where the soundtrack won't stop playing even after the intermission is over. I tried to use a break function to, well, break the loop. But it doesn't work for me. After complicating it by using a conditional statement, a remote event, and moving it to the main game script, I just need to write a wait between the code. Then, after some button scripting, that caused my hair to become bald, and decided not to use it, I went coloring the option menu. I was planning to bring back the lobby, but this little addition is going to cost me 51 years of debugging. So, I postponed until the next update. Anyways, guys, after quite a while, I haven't uploaded any devlog videos that much, even though one of the channel's focuses was some devlog videos. With these transition period updates, I will hopefully upload more devlog videos. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.